Hello, Kulas, and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barca, where we are going to be discussing the latest on FC Barcelona as usual. We are going to begin with Usman Dembele, as reports are claiming that Liverpool are considering a swap deal involving Usman Dembele and Naby Keita. Of course, I did spoke about Naby Keita being linked with FC Barcelona yesterday, and Barcelona, according to this report, once a swap deal between Dembele and Nabi Keita. We are going to be discussing much about that as we move ahead. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about this Valencia manager Bordelas. Of course, he said something that I think is quite funny because he was like, Barcelona have 300 million euros debt and talk about signing Haaland. Where is the financial fair play rules? Those are the words from the Valencia coach recently. And guys, I asked myself, why won't this man mind his own business? What is he doing with our team? He should be focused on his own team and what they want to achieve. We are going to be discussing on what he said recently. So guys, as we get right into those stories, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Usman Dembele's contract situation has been a problematic issue for Barcelona. But his recent rejection of a new deal could end up proving advantageous for Barcelona. The 24-year-old recently turned down Barcelona's latest contract proposal as he demanded a new deal worth an enormous 40 million euros per season wage, with the club in no position to meet those demands. An exit looks like a distinct possibility for Dembele at the moment. Why it has been expected that Dembele would run down his contract and move on the other end of the season? There could be a possibility that Barca get rid of him in the ongoing campaign. A report from Liverpool Echo, you know, via El Nacional claims that Premier League big wigs Liverpool, you know, have made Dembele a key target for the January window. They are set to lose both Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane for the Africa Cup of Nations this month and need to reinforce their attacking unit. Dembele's contract situation allows the Reds to sign him at a cut price fee. However, the report goes on to add that the Mezzo side may have an interesting proposal for Barcelona to consider. Instead of paying a transfer fee for Usman Dembele, Jurgen Klopp's side are considering offering Naby Keita as part of a swap deal. Of course, the Guinean midfielder has recently emerged as a transfer target for Barca, and Liverpool are hoping to take advantage of the interest by offering him to Barca in order to facilitate a move for Dembele. Keita has been with the Premier League heavyweight since 2018, when he arrived from Leipzig, but has failed to live up to the potential he has shown. The 26-year-old will be entering the final year of his contract in the summer and is considered an expendable member of the squad, as per the report. Valued at €30 million, Euros, the former RB Salzburg ace would add a different flavor to the Barcelona midfield. At the same time, Barcelona will be getting rid of Dembele's massive wages which could enable them to register new signing Ferran Torres. Then on to the next story of discussion. After a difficult first half of the season, things are starting to look up for Barcelona. The performances and the results are slowly starting to improve under Xavi. The club have also made a couple of new signings in Dani Alves and Ferran Torres, while reports indicate that they may be in the lead in the race to sign Erling Haaland. The situation is certainly filled with a lot of more optimism than a few months ago. However, rival club might not be taking it too well, as indicated by the recent outburst of Valencia manager Jose Bordelas. Speaking in a press conference, the lost chair boss hit out at Barcelona signing Torres, a player Valencia had to sell in 2020 to Manchester City due to their own financial problems, as well as Barcelona public pursuit of Haaland, Bordelas said. Barcelona have a debt of 300 million euros and sign, you know, with Ferran Torres, and now they talk about Haaland. Where is the financial fair play? Why Torres may have been signed from Manchester City in a deal worth 55 million euros, the Spaniard is yet to be registered as Barcelona are still finding it hard to shed weight from their wage bill, which they need to do in order to be compliant to La Liga salary cap limit. At the same time, the signing of Haaland would also depend on the club's ability to raise the necessary funds. So it goes without saying that Juan Laporta and co need to get rid of the dead wood within the squad this month and in the summer transfer window. The Barcelona president is confident that the club are on the path of resurgence. 
you know, and there are plenty of reasons for fans to be positive about heading into the second half of the season. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona, year on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.